Hi, my name is Jerry, and I am a twin troller boat owner. Let me explain to you what this is. You may remember a video I did several months ago, and I showed you this. It's called the Quick Lift Dally. And this was the style then, and I tried using it, and I wasn't really happy with it. I talked to Frank from Freedom Electric at the time, and he said they were designing a new one. So I've waited all this time for him to get a new one into production, and I have a surprise. Some of you may have already seen that they have a new dolly out, and I got mine today. In the description below this video, there are links to most of the items used in many of my videos. They are there so you can locate them in case you are interested. Now, before we get going, let me just explain something. You could probably see a fan going here. It's really hot in here today. It's well in the 90s here in Central Florida. It's extremely humid, but I'm excited about getting this dolly together and see what it looks like and eventually see how it works. So. Pardon some of the noise. I have a windscreen on my microphone and I'm hoping that that blocks most of it. But please bear with me. Let's get this out of the way for now. And here we go. This is what the new dolly looks like when it comes in the box. But let me show you something. The box came damaged. It's all been taped over again. I'm assuming it was the shipping company that damaged it. So I'm hoping that all the parts are in here. And we'll know when I get it all apart, we can lay them out, see if everything's there. Because of all this heat, I'm gonna take off my hat. And I'm getting to the point I need my glasses to see, or at least to read. So let's get this box open. two tires and when I look at the old dolly they're identical an angled piece like this two straight pieces one rod one angle piece to, I recognize these to be the supports for the wheels. Two pieces of metal. They're identical, but they're, this part's bent the opposite way. Two pieces of metal like this, identical. And a bag of all kinds of things. Got a little hole here. I hope everything's here, but let me show you. I already know something's missing out of here. At least one thing I can tell is missing. There should be two of these. Well, let's see how far we can get putting this together. Here's the instructions. I don't know if you could see that too well. The wind's kind of blowing it around. There are two rods that belong here, one here and one here, and we're missing one. I think everything else is here. Just those parts are missing. All right, we've got one, two 
big wheels, two small wheels. This is the handle bracket. You got two of these. One, two, three, four big bolts. They look like they all use the same size nylocks. Two shorter bolts that have, oops, that have shoulders on them. Two, four, five, six of these really short ones. And seven, eight of those short ones. Here's one more nylock. I'll set that over there because it's an odd number in two of these. One, two, three, four. The bigger washers, two of the smaller washer, washers, two caps, and I just found another nylock. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 nylock nuts. So this looks like, so far, I have everything and then the cap that goes on the end of the handle. But before we do this, if you are doing this yourself, here's something I recommend. Well, also, this was packed by 00989. So, you're missing the other rod there, zero, zero, nine, eight, nine. But it might not be your fault since the box was damaged in shipping. This is something that I highly recommend that you do. This is my laptop. This is YouTube. This is the Twin Troller channel. And this is David doing a video about how I'm putting this together when he put it together. And this is a video about David, my hero, putting this together because I really appreciate being able to look at this. But you can see there's supposed to be two rods here and I'm missing one. But I have two angle pieces. I've got two straight pieces. I got two of these, two of these, two of these. Uh, Everything else was in the package, so it looks like I have everything except for the other rod that's missing. If you have a laptop, put it out in front of you, have it play while you're putting it together, it would be so much easier. Not that this seems to be difficult. Putting the old one together was a little bit more complicated. This seems pretty straightforward. All right, well, at least I can try to get some things done. These two pieces are identical cuts the holes in the same place. These are identical, however, <clears throat> the lip, as you can see, there's a lip. They face in towards each other. And I use the smaller nuts or bolts. They go in on the outside, go in through here. and you put them in loose. At least till you get them all in. All right, it's pretty loose right now. So loose, one of them fell out. In the video that David did, he said, yeah, should use two 9 16 inch uh, wrenches, but he used a 9 16 ratchet. In some cases, you need the two. In this application right here, I'm gonna do what he did because it was so much faster. And I'm also gonna use a now, I, I, uh, this is a 3 8 inch drive, and I put an extension on it just so I can get in here a little bit easier.
should have been paying any attention, this, these two legs have to go outward. The two front ones face into this, the two back ones go out. I'm not sure how much of a difference it is. I just happened to notice in the instructions, the one that faces out towards the taller bar, this part faces out. At least at this point, I've got this part done <clears throat> and it's hard. I'm going to flip it upside down because the legs are going to go in next. These are the legs that support the tires. This size rod will be going through this, which is the taller here. Okay, the bigger ones, see there's two sizes of these, the bigger ones are going to go through this end and they're going to have a washer that goes through here and through there. and a bolt, washer on the end of the bolt, and do, do what I just did, and these you can get tight because they're not designed to spin. They look like wheels, but they're not. See, they don't turn. Those are tight. We gotta put the wheel supports on. See where the axle will go through like this. And the four long bolts go through here and here. All right, so next we're going to put this rod through these. We're going to put the two other wheels on and the smaller caps onto the rod. But we want to mount the rod caps on first. All right, now I got that one tight. So these are gonna go on like this. And through here, but these are gonna spin. Now they don't tell you to do this in the directions or anything like that, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I use something that's called Super Lube. It's actually a food grade lubricant if you're wondering why I buy it at a tub like this, I used to use it in my business for backflow valves. And it is extremely, it's a synthetic lubricant and it stays in place for much longer than regular grease would do. and it doesn't wipe off. So I put a little dab here. And again, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this because I want the wheels to roll as easy as I can get them. I'll put a little on the wheels. 
little bit on the end surface. I've got some inside. And I'm going to put some on the, around the end. And wipe my fingers off. Now we need to tap this on. I put something underneath there to support that. The little cap in place. And as you can see, these spin quite well. There's two bars, straight bars. Again, one smaller, we want the bigger one. Two holes on one end, one hole on this end. The two holes are gonna be on the end with the wheels that spin. So we're gonna go right through the hole, and we want the holes to be this way, horizontal. Then we're gonna take two bolts, one through when it's on this side of it, and the other one's on the other side. And then what you got, thread on some nylock nuts. And we're going to tighten them down. We should, at this point, be putting the wheels in, except we're missing the axle. So I'm going to have to contact Frank in Freedom Electric and get another axle shipped to me, I guess. So this we will do one of the last things because we can do the rest and it won't affect this one way or another. But to give you some idea, there'll be an axle here, a wheel here, and it'll be a cap on the end of the uh, axle to hold it in place with some washers on each side. And I'm going to do something totally different that isn't part of the design of this. So make sure you keep watching because it's going to be something we're going to do that's different. So I have, at this point, two elbows for the handle. I've still got these things. And let's put the handle together. Goes thin here lines up with a hole here and eventually you're going to use one of these to keep this in place. We're not going to do that yet because we have to put another part together. Now we have two parts left, two bends. If you don't know which is which, let me give you an idea. See this little black cap? That black cap has to fit in the end when we get done. So it goes in like that and that would fit in this. But if you were using the wrong one, it goes all the way and it doesn't fit. So this has to be the last part that you grab a hold of at the very end of the dolly. So the next one would be this one, which is the bigger elbow. So we're going to take that, that rod with the two holes in it, the only straight rod we have left, put it in here. I'm going to put a bolt through it. And a nut. And we're going to tighten them up. 
nice and snug. So we now have a long piece with a straight end on it. We now have these two elbows, they need to fit together like this. And a bolt is going to come up through the bottom, so it comes out the top. And then this piece, that's what holds, this goes over the transom, this little hook. So we're going to put this on. David says we're going to put this on so this can still swing a little, but not so much like it is now. So we're going to tighten it up some. Still too loose. Still too loose. Too tight. Now that's pretty loose. It'll wiggle around pretty good, but it's not a tremendous amount of play. But as you can see, it, it literally goes all over. So it's got that much play in it. A little bit when you lift it up and down, but it's not keeping it from moving. So once you get this onto the boat, onto the twin troller, this goes over the transom and locks it on. Well, you need something to hold it in place. That's where these come. Slide that off. Come up through the hole on the bottom. Right up through the top. Lift that over and lock it on. So now you've got this attached to the back of the twin troller with a handle here. That's what this elbow is for. And this can't fall out. But to release this, you just pop that back off again and, and off you go. So what's the last one for? This one here of these? Assume that the wheels are on this. You need a way to attach this to here because in this side would be up. The twin troller would be laying here. So you loosen up that thing. Find your hole, match it up with the hole that's there. Stick it through there. Come out the other side and clamp it. So now the dolly if this had tires on it, would be in one big piece. And there's one last thing. Let me take this back out. If this had wheels on it, it'd be easier to do. But what I'm trying to do, I'll take this out. I'll get rid of this. So there's one more thing to do. See the end of this hole? It's where that cap went. Line it up. Tap it in. I got a nice finished edge here. I don't know if you can see what me tapping that. This is together. All I have to do at this point is get the wheels on this after I get the, the missing part. But make sure you stay tuned because we're going to do something different that I think will make a difference for me to push my twin troller on softer ground. We'll just have to try and see if it works. If you like my video, just push the subscribe button over there if you haven't already. Below there you can push a bell, get noticed when I put out another one, or you can share this with a friend. You can even leave comments or questions below. Thanks for watching and bye now.